हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट ग्रुप्स इन टैली द ग्रुप्स इन टैली आर हाउ टू यूज एंड विच ग्रुप इज वेयर टू यूज सो टैली ग्रुप्स एंड इट्स यूजेस टैली प्रोवाइड्स प्री डिफाइन ग्रुप्स आउट ऑफ विच फिफ्टीन आर प्राइमरी ग्रुप्स एंड थर्टीन आर सब ग्रुप डिटेल अबाउट द प्री डिफाइन ग्रुप्स इन टैली आर पी नाइन first is capital it includes capital account drawings partners capital and share capital etc all capital accounts are included in the group of capital second is reserve and surplus sub group is return earnings it is another name for reserve and surplus accounts such as a capital reserve general reserve profit and loss account reserve for depreciation and reserve for income tax third group is current asset it contain following sub group cash all cash related accounts and bank all bank related accounts in the current asset there are some sub groups first is deposit assets all rental deposit fixed deposits security deposits etc which are made by the company second is loans and advances assets loans and advances provides to outsider by the company which are non trading example of salary given advance advance for purchase of fixed assets stock in hand it includes opening and closing stock the balance depends upon type of inventory management next one is sundry debtors it holds the all outstanding receivables from parties or customers all customers are included under the group sundry debtors to whom we sold the goods that firm that organization or the party names is included in the sundry debtors group next is current liabilities it holds the outstanding liabilities statutory liabilities and some other minor liabilities such liabilities are pf tds also fall under this group it includes duties and taxes all taxes under this group provisions some provisions under this group for example bad debts sundry creditors companies all suppliers included under this group fixed assets it includes all fixed assets of the company for example building machineries land premises etc next one is investment in this group include like bond debentures securities shares etc loans liability it keeps an account of the loan taken by the company it means to whom we taken a loan or any company or bank that bank or company's name under the loans and liability group under this group there are some sub groups first one is bank overdraft account or bank occ account bank occ is the allies name of bank overdraft account it holds the overdraft accounts like bill discounting account etc of the bank second sub group is secured loan it holds the accounts of the loans taken by the company from bank 
and other financial bodies by mortgaging its fixed assets. It is a secured loan, so it has to be written from the fixed assets of the company, even if the company fails. It means the loan taken by in giving any security to the bank or any financial bodies and taken a loan is under the group of secured loan. Next one is unsecured loan. This is an unconditional loan obtained from partners or directors or outside the parties. Suspense account. This account is open when trial balance does not match and some discrepancy balance sheet. It is a balance sheet items and shown either in asset or balance sheet sites. Next is miscellaneous expenses into bracket asset. This is uh, mainly for legal disclosures requirements like schedules 6 of Indian Companies Act. It is rarely used. This is a primary group. Create all expenses accounts that are not written off to profit and loss account the same year in which they are incurred under this group. Such expenditure is written, written off proportionally over a number of years. For example, pre preliminary expenses, lump sum amount paid for obtaining copyright or technical know-how. Then branch and division. It holds the accounts of all the sister concern branches, divisions, affiliations, etc. of the existing company. This is primary group where accounts of head office which has various branches of division under it. Create such branch or division accounts under this group. For example, Pratap branch account, Pune head office account. Next is a sales account, such as sales account and sales return account. It holds the different sales accounts. Purchase account, it holds the accounts related to purchase. Direct income, account of the direct income is open like income due to sales of service generally used in professional service. A professional service provides generally used to open an account as a professional fees instead of sales account under this group. Indirect income. It is an account of non-sale indirect income like income from rent received, commission received, interest received, etc. Direct expenses. It has factory related expenses or generally direct expenses. The direct trading expenses of the factory like wages paid to labors, transportation, electricity bill, etc. Indirect expenses. Expenses incurred in the administrative building like salary account, maintenance of vehicle, etc. All expenses which, is, which are not related to factory or not related to production, these expenses are called indirect expenses like salary, commission allowed, discount allowed, etc. Thank you.